Lost Star Cluster. Today we're going to play this event and you guys are going to see my process on how I'm choosing my buff. Now, many of you guys know that I am a destroyer main. And probably many of you guys don't think that destroyer can succeed in Lost Star Cluster. Majority of the players that you're going to see in your nebula are either going to be a frigate main or a cruiser main. I think there are very like a handful of players in this game in Infinite Galaxy that are invested in destroyers and I am one of them. Now, let's take a look on how well can a destroyer get in the Lost Star Cluster, how far would I go for this? Now, I will be using some buff. I will have my advanced leadership and as well as attack buff. And I'm not going to add anything else in there because I don't really see that it's going to make a whole lot of difference in my st you know, uh, standing. Hey, I want to know how long have you guys been playing Infinite Galaxy? This is going to be about a year now for me. As you can see, my daily login streak is now 385 days. Wow! Isn't that crazy? Time flies. Guys, I've been making Infinite Galaxy contents now for over a year. I would definitely love to invite you guys to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Maybe you haven't created a YouTube account, so make sure you do create a YouTube account. And also, I have a Discord channel. Go into the description, check out the Discord channel for my community. If you need help in Infinite Galaxy, reach us out in that Discord. That is going to be the biggest tip that I have for you guys. So let's go into Lost Star Cluster. All right, where I'm going to set up my fleets right now, which is going to be Hades in the primary there. And then we're also going to go for the Titan. Now, you got to watch entirely in this video because there's things that I'm going to do that you might not accustom with and you might not have been doing this. So I have a few tricks in my sleeves in here that I'm going to teach you guys today. So I'm also going to put Odysseus. Actually, we're going to put um, Poseidon there and then we're going to do Odysseus in here. We have 94,000 leadership, and we're going to just click next. And then of course, I'm just going to pick all destroyers in that sense. There we go. And I'm going to click save here. We're only going to be bringing destroyers, all right? Only destroyers. There we go. Now, I could mix it up because I have my Poseidon and Odysseus. Now, previously, when my leadership in my account was low, what I was doing is that I was resetting my core module and I was trying to max this out in here. But in this stage where I'm at, I don't even need all the ships, all the warships. I, I always have left over, so I don't really need to do the reset anymore. So let's get back into the Lost Star Cluster. Uh, make sure that you have your buff prior to starting the Lost Star Cluster. And then we are going to set up all destroyers in here. And we're going to do a quick sweep. So as we do this sweep, I want you guys to pay attention on the buff that I'm going to be collecting. So if I see like this, all right, of course, I have no choice, total warship HP. And then uh, two things that I either pick. I would mainly pick um, attack over HP because in this Lost Ark cluster, you get points by the damage. So I'm going to go for the you know attack now i'm gonna go for hp here i typically don't really pick the armors in here um of course destroyer fire fire power um attack over warship armor and then attack over armor of course destroyer fire power uh fire power all right that's really good we might we might score pretty high for this one if we keep getting fire power in here okay so now uh the choices all right, HP or shield, go for shield. Sorry, I made a mistake there. Go for HP. Sorry, if there's HP or shield, go for HP. All right, destroyer shield. Of course, we're going to go for destroyer shield because that's specific because I'm going to get bigger bonus. And um, But either way, earlier, either when you pick HP or shield, pretty good. Okay, so my tier would be attack, HP, and then shield. And then destroyer shield, of course. That's a no-brainer. All right, destroyer HP. Destroyer HP, pretty good buff that are given to me right now. Destroyer HP. And, okay, so in this case, uh, if it's destroyer specific only, I will go for the defense. Now, that's the only time that I will pick a defense buff. All right. Um, destroyer HP, of course. Okay. Firepower, destroyer. Wow, we're getting pretty good buff in here. Shield, destroyer defense. Okay, of course, we got to go for destroyer defense. Destroyer HP um okay so okay good warship shield no choice there just one warship hp 
or 45. Okay, these are these are different ones. We gotta go for the the warship HP. Okay, so here's the warship HP or warship shield or destroyer defense. Okay, so now I gotta go pick destroyer defense. Now, if this is like you know frigate defense or a, a cruiser defense, and then you pick the specific one. Always tear up the specific um, buff. All right. Um, okay, so firepower or shield. Okay, we're gonna go for firepower, like I mentioned. I'm focusing more onto the attack. Okay, so firepower or HP. We're going for firepower. All right, so now this is destroy HP. Um, destroy your HP. And 45 shield. Okay, we're going to go for shield. All right, so HP, shield. All right, told you guys we're going to go pick HP. And warship shield, warship HP, we're going to go for HP. All right, and armor shield. Okay, we're gonna go for shield for that one. Destroyer fire boost. Um, we're gonna go for, of course, destroyer fire boost. And total warship attack, warship armor, warship shield. So this one, all right, we're definitely gonna go for the warship attack. And HP or shield, we're gonna go for HP. You guys are seeing the priority that I am picking. And this one pretty much bad for us. We're not doesn't really matter. Doesn't really fit in our buff um, shield. Uh, okay, all right. Specific one we pick that one. HP shield. All right, we're gonna go for HP firepower boost. There we go. And for this one, we're definitely gonna go for total warship attack and warship HP. All right, so relatively pretty good, um, really, really good buff that we got today. So here's what I got here today. You can take a look, 65% um, HP for total warships, increased warship attack 26.5%. But if we go into destroyer 134, um, as you can see here, increased attack of destroyers 96%, pretty high. Now, just with this skip right now, we are already at um, rank 7. Let's uh, get this started. And um, I, there's a few tricks that I'm going to do. We're going to do some switching, um, you know, of captains and gears. And I want you to kind of pay attention. And I don't know what your strategy is. So let me know in the comment section below right now, what is your current strategy in this Lost Star cluster? And um, how is this video going to help you after you watch this video? All right. Let's see. Um, we're just going to go skip at this point. I know I can defeat them. So I'm just going to go through and run them down pretty easily, but typically you try to find a counter. So if I see mostly frigs, I'm going to go for that. All right. But for this case, I know that I can handle it. Um, destroy your HP shield. All right. We're going to go for HP and we're just going to keep on going at it right now. Destroy the destroyer, easy win. The struggles that I get is cruisers. Now at this stage in here, it doesn't even matter what I select, but I'm gonna go and get this more destroyer. All right, cruiser, we're just gonna you know kill that off. This one doesn't really matter. Um, later I'll tell you a stage where uh, I, I had to make a make a different choices, you know, picking full cruisers instead of like the mix. And uh, I'll give you my kind of uh, assessment into that later. So let's go in here to the next stage. I have the animation. Takes forever. I wish there was a skip animation for this. Oh, my God. All right. Let's go. So here, frigates. That's easy. There's a lot of stuff to go through in this one. So I'm just going to go through this straight up. All right. So 111 million power here. Let's go skip the battle. All right, we're ranked sixth right now. Okay, so in this stage, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, click repair ratio. All right, now here's the thing. This is 245, that's huge. All right, I don't wanna use my main ship to defeat this. This is gonna be challenging. So you need to know where your boundary is, where your, you know, your previous one where you kinda lose. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back into spaceport and, um, we're going to change stuff up in here. Oh, shoot. I'm going to click return for this two, uh, two ships right now. All right, so what we got to do here is we're going to remove all the gear. All right, remove all the gear from my main fleet. I'm going to remove the captain as well. All right, because these are my two level 40 captain. It's useless if I don't use them. So then I am going to remove all this into my second fleet. 
and um, Poseidon is my main. Let's go board Lara. Let's um, quick equip switch gear. Let's also do this here. Let's leave that. Let's put Bruno. Let's uh, remove all. And let's equip the you well, know let's equip the best gears. Alright. So now these two doesn't have anything and this two has. So we just kinda flip it around. Now let's go back into Lost Star Cluster. Oh by the way, let's see this. Let's take free in here. What do we get? Oh, okay. They've been getting lucky winners in here. Pretty cool that they're showcasing some people in here. Wow. Look at that. Alright, let's go into Lost Star Cluster. Let's go back in here. Let's change ships and um, changing flagship. Make sure you adjust the leadership. So here's the thing. You can always have mixed fleet if you do have Poseidon and Odysseus, but I'm just going to show you what destroyers can do. All right, so this one, we're just going to use this um, second fleet as a meat shield, and uh, we're going to attack. And uh, I know I'm going to lose. I'm going to keep dwindling it down. All right, keep dwindling it down. You can see we still got plenty of ships anyway. We're going to dwindle it down until... Actually, this is fine. We can switch it up. All right, this is remove all. I should have done it in this previous one. I think I could have defeated it already with my main, but it's fine. All right, let's put board. Let's board this guy. Let's make sure gears are out. Gears are in. All right, now gears are back in. Double check. Always double check because there are times where I'm rushing and um, I definitely made a mistake. So let's go switch to flagships. All right. Another thing that you can do is you can request for a secretary buff. The secretary buff will allow you to have more leadership coming in. So you can also get any princep buff. It will help you in this Lost Star Cluster as well. All right, so let's go and hit this with Lara with the Hades. And boom. All right, so now we're going for um, Warship Shield. All right, next one, 144. I think I should be able to handle that. Oh, see, that's a challenge. I should have used my other fleet to hit it, to switch it up, but there we go. So here's the thing. Um, uh, yeah, the full set of the cruisers right away is better. So I'm going to make another switch in here because I know I'm going to lose that one. All right, that's why I saved one attack. Um, let's go remove all. Let's go remove all. A little bit of a strategy in here and a quick equip. Quick equip. Sorry if it's a little bit uh, tedious video. Um, hopefully this is helpful and hopefully you guys are at least entertained. Tell me something in the comment section below. Anything unique about you guys and how, or maybe how did you guys find Infinite Galaxy and how are you enjoying the game? Let's change flagship. All right, there we go. So with my two choices in here, this is actually a better route. Just hit the cruisers right away. All right, so I'm going to switch here. This is probably going to die anyway. So there we go. Hit, defeated. Like now my ship is broken. Now I knocked out about uh, what 20, 20 million there. All right, let's go and switch it up, and um, leave, and leave, and remove all, and remove all. All right, so now we're going to put board this. All right, we got a board. Now, question is, have you guys ever done this approach or not? It's a little bit of a work, but it gets you a good score. So right now, I'm already high score. Um, but I should get higher than this, though. Let's go into this. And um, let's go hit this one. 150. All right. Struggle. 150. All right. There we go. We defeated it. Now, this is, of course, we're not going to win. All right. We're not going to win on this one. Hit that. We got to hit as much as we can because that's where you get the points by hitting it multiple times. There we go. Mine broke. 
So right now I'm currently first, but I know I'm not going to be first. I'm probably going to be second. So previous rankings, my score is 761923. Right now is 761529. Wow. Kind of went down a little bit there. Uh, wow, that's challenging, huh? But that's probably because in the previous one, I probably had more buff like defense and HP, but I told you it doesn't really matter because I know where I'm going to be placing. So this is the little trick that I've been doing. Now, imagine if I did not do my trick here or my tips that I gave you guys in here in this stage in the boss. Um, if I use my main ship to just bring it down, my main ship would get damaged early on that I could not go past to the next round in here. I would probably not even be able to you know, take a take a nab into this area, all right? So making that switch onto the captains and gear will definitely help you a lot into the progression here in the Lost Star Cluster. So with that being said, I hope this video was actually helpful. And if it was, you know, go down to the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. And of course, if you like the video, drop a like before you head out. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you again next time.